Hello, I'm going to demo the Media Over Quick Ultra Low Latency uh, proof of concept that I've been working on. In the screen, you are seeing how the encoder UI looks like on the left side, and on the right side, you have the player UI. So, first of all, you need to set up the encoder. You need to point to a web transport server and use a unique stream ID that is auto generated. You also need to set up the maximum allowed buffers for sending data and the maximum in flight requests. If the number of uh, if the size of the buffer gets over the maximum parameter setup, the encoder will start dropping data. Same for in-flight requests. If it gets over the maximum, we will drop data. And last but not least, you need to configure the uh, the cache max edge for the frames uh, on the relay. So this is the amount of time that the relay will have those frames in memory. Okay, that's it. You just need to click start and start the streaming. So here we have a local preview. Uh, with a clock that I set up for uh, some testing and then below uh, the preview you will uh, you will see really interesting uh, real-time stats that are very useful to um, to tune uh, to tune and debug this uh, platform so now let's copy paste the stream ID and let's go to the player so the player uh, you need also uh, to point to the same server that the encoder is sending data to so basically the same web transport server you need to set up the stream uh, the stream mode in this case we will set uh, we will lift uh, we will leave it uh, live edge obviously you need to set up the stream id um, pasting this from the encoder and this is the player buffer so this means that the amount of data that we want to buffer before the player starts playing back let's be a little bit ambitious and put 10 milliseconds and last, you need to set up the audio jitter and video jitter for uh, digiter uh, filters, uh, the size of the digiter filters for this player. Let's put 95 milliseconds uh, in both. You need to take into account that these three parameters uh, are totally related or are directly related with uh, latency. Okay, let's click start. Now we are streaming. Uh, here we are. Uh, we also are embedding, are measuring the glass-to-glass uh, -glass latency because we are embedding. Uh, some metadata in the in every frame, so this is a frame accurate glass to glass latency measure. I'm streaming from Barcelona to Frankfurt and, and back, so basically the server is in Frankfurt and I'm in Barcelona. So and then the glass to glass latency is measured to 300 milliseconds, not bad, uh, I think. So and also same as the encoder, you will see here a lot of very interesting uh, debugging data, uh, real time debugging data uh, in the in below uh, below the player uh, the player window. Okay, this is the live edge uh, test. So now let's stop and let's try the rewind. For the rewind, uh, let's uh, do uh, 10, uh, 10 seconds back. So basically, let's click start. This is uh, the encoder is sending uh, 425. Okay, 415, 416. So now we are uh, 10 seconds back real time. And you can, since the, the latency is measured from the frame when the frame is captured. Uh, minus when the frame, sorry, when the frame is displayed, minus the time when the frame is captured, uh, the latency is measuring 10 seconds and a little bit more, uh, but basically the 10 seconds of the rewind. Let's stop and let's take a look to the highlights. So the highlights, uh, you know, we need some uh, some time here. Let's put uh, 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 this is a one hour back, so let's uh, this should be. 11.04, I think that will work, 0, 0. and let's go to 11.05. So play it. let's keep these default values and let's click start. Okay, look, the player started at 0, 04 and now we'll keep playing at uh, speed 1 until 0, 05. I just wanted to mention that all the code that I use for this demo is available as open source. So please take a look at these two repos and enjoy your POC. Thank you.